In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, uh, flow simulation. You can see the water is entering from this side and uh, get out from the other side. And uh, here's the speed being reduced when the cross area increase. So we will see how to make this simulation in this tutorial, starting from a fresh uh, assembly. Okay, let's get started with a new assembly. First, we create a new assembly. And then we introduce the body, lead, and the lead on the two ends. And uh, First, let's uh, make this uh, aligned with uh, all the uh, front planes. Front plane with uh, front plane. Top plane with top plane. right plane with right plane so in this case by doing this we know the coordinate of the assembly will uh, coincident with our body and save this one as uh, Flow simulation give the initial. Okay, then we are going to make this two lead. So in later, this lead with this part will give the volume of the cavity in here. So to define the fluid. What we can do here, we can make this uh, surface aligned with this surface and then make this uh, edge concentric with this edge. Okay, then we're going to make this surface coincident with uh, this surface. Then we're going to, we are able to move this around on this surface, right? So what we can do here, uh, I would like to use uh, this edge and this edge to coincident and uh, say this edge with this edge constant okay fully constrained now we can save our assembly use control 7 to bring the two isometric view because this uh, just uh, represent the surfaces is not the real component in assembly so we make this transparency and make this one transparency okay you can see we can see through this part save the part then we can move to next step 
workflow simulation. You need to make uh, sure your add-in flow simulation is available, so you can start with this uh, simulation analysis. This time we are going to use uh, Wizard. Uh, it gives you quick setup for all the simulation, most of the simulation uh, settings. Let's get it started. Uh, you can give the name. Say flow test. We can select configuration or just use current. If you have additional configuration here, uh, okay. So you can also create a new one if necessary. Uh, in this case, we just use the current. Uh, here's the unit system. We're going to use uh, SI. You can choose different one. And once you choose, then you can see the unit has been given and been listed here. Next. In this study, we use uh, internal and exclude the cavity without uh, flow conditions. Make sure you use the internal and also make sure you have this uh, uh, exclude uh, cavity without flow being checked. Right. If you would like to perform other uh, features, then you can select here. For this time, we just use uh, small, uh, the default without any additional value being added to this study. Very simple one. To understand the whole process of uh, flow simulation. Liquid. You can choose different liquid being listed here. You can also create a new one if you necessary. This time we're going to use water. So it's a liquid and uh, water being selected. Right? If you want to add this one, then you can select different ones. We use water, uh, which is being predefined. Uh, then add here. You can see the water liquid is being put here. Right? Then default liquid and then hit next you can see here flow type lamina and uh, turbulent right so we can use different ones okay uh, lamina only or turbulent only so we have uh, we have a lamina and the turbulent being select okay uh, con convert uh, cavitation is not uh, checked here, right? Once you're done, hit next, then you can see. We use a default wall thermal condition, which is adiabatic. That means uh, we don't have, we are not interested in heat transfer in this study, right? So we just use this. We only consider its flow, pressure, drop, uh, velocity change, and so on. Hit next, then you can see the settings have been set up and uh, you can review it. Once you're done, hit finish. And then you can see here's the computation domain. It's been defined here. Right? You can also make adjustment if necessary, right? If necessary. Okay, you can extend and so on. We're not going to make changes here. So just use this. We can also hide this domain or show this domain. Now the initial setup is being done. So we can save this file for next step. Now let's hide the domain first and define the boundary condition. So click boundary condition, right click, 
inset the boundary condition here and uh, uh, we are going to define open flow opening here right so inlet mass flow we are going to use uh, this circle circular area as our entrance so what we can do here we can hide the body first so we will be able to easily select this surface as our surface right so here you can see okay it is the inner surface okay it is the inner surface and uh, you're going to say in uh, in that mass flow select this one and then uh, normal to face make sure it is normal to face and here we're going to use 50 kilogram per second that very large value considering its size and uh, hit OK now you can see inlet mass flow 1 is being defined let's save the file then let's define outlet right so right click boundary condition insert this time we're going to select the face which is opposite make sure you select the correct surface right so control 7 okay which is this one not the other one so this is incorrect so we can delete this one make sure it is on this side okay so this time we're going to use the pressure opening and uh, we are going to keep the rest as a default for now in OK you can see environment pressure uh, 2 is being defined on this side now if we bring okay go to model right so feature manage design tree hit it and then show the part then you can see here's the defined domain and the boundary condition being given save the file bring it to asymmetric view use control 7 then you can come back to flow simulation analysis so that is the boundary condition. Then we can move to the next step to set up our growth. Okay, we're ready to set the goals. The goals is very important. Right? What we can do here from this list, right click, you can select uh, insert the globe uh, global goals, you can insert the point goals, you can insert uh, the surface goals, volume goals, and the equation goals, and so on. In this, we're going to use this entrance area to set our surface goal. You can see. So, what we can do here, we can select lead one. You can see lead one. Okay, it's been given here. Or what you can do here, you can hide this one. Let's delete this one. We can select this surface, right? And uh, this surface is what we're interested in. And then once you select the surface you are interested in for analysis, then you can set up parameters. The parameters we are going to choose is uh, uh, static pressure. Uh, if you have other interest, then you can select those of parameters for calculation. But for now, for this simple, uh, simple demonstration, we are going to focus on 
process instead of complicated analysis. So we choose static pressure for now. And then we're going to hit OK. Then you can see a new goal, which is SG average static pressure one. It's been displayed in your uh, analysis flow test. Okay, so then we can make this visible again. Okay? Show the components. And uh, uh, if we wish, you can hide this too as well. But uh, uh, we would like to keep it, uh, make it translucency. Control 7. Now, you set most of the necessary compo uh, boundary condition, goals, and uh, domains to run a simulation. Now we are ready to start to create our mesh. So let's uh, double click global mesh. Then you can see automatic is being given. You can also change the menu. In this case we are going to use automatic and the settings here is the level of uh, initial mesh. Uh, you can change this value to get more or less. Right? Um, here Minimum size of uh, gap. We're going to say um, because we have a millimeter, so we're going to reduce this to 0 0.005, which is uh, about five millimeter. You can make it even smaller. Okay. Once you're done. Then, what we can do here, we're going to run the simulation. What we can do here, okay, run the activity project. So far, you don't have anything here, okay, uh, and uh, no result being loaded, right? So, we can run. When you run that, okay, so then you can see startup. Solver, okay. Uh, if you hit this run, then the solver will be activated. Make sure you run at this computer, okay. You can choose different computer, right? So you can choose different solver. So we're going to use this one mm, and load the results after the calculation being completed. So let's hit run. That's a new calculation, right? So when you look at here, it's the calculating, and you can see. Okay, in my case, two is being created, right? Because I already run the one here, so you can see uh, negative pressure and so on. Okay, so it's finished, right? Once you're done. Then you can insert the global plot. Uh, say we, this is our goal being set, right? So if you hit OK, then you can see. So this is how you can get a result from a solver. Okay. Uh, oh, we already okay. We already have one being plotted here. This is a new one I just created, right? So they are the same. Okay. Once you've done this, then the result has been loaded. Then we can create some plots. For example, cut plots. So how to see this? Insert. Uh, you can select the plan you would like to look at your results. This time, we're interested in the cross section parallel to uh, top plane, then we can choose top plane. You can also set up, offset, and so on. Uh, we're not uh, going to do so. Say so you have a parameter, a contour for different parameters. So this time we're going to see, look at the pressure first. And here 
you can see number of levels, 11. You can increase it, uh, get the fine results. Right? So we're going to set, use the, we're going to use the three, now uh, the default per, uh, value here. Hit OK. You can see a result being displayed here. Um, we'll not be able to see because this is uh, solid. So we can make this transluent and let's hide this one and this one for now you can see here's the pressure you can see right so pressure is low uh, pressure is low here and high to the end this is a very this did dem demonstrate the result, result of a balloony equation right or theory right so when you don't have any other outsource introduced in this domain then the velocity decreases and the pressure increases right okay go back to the flow we can insert another one let's hide this one for now and uh, insert the same right, front plane but top plane right and uh, in the same location, we would like to look at the velocity this time. Okay, you can see velocity is high in the entrance and low in outlet, right? So as expected, let's hide this one, save my file. Uh, we also would like to look at the flow trajectories, right? Let's insert the area interested in will be on this side, right? So then we show this one. Oh, no, this hide it, but lead one and uh, we make this surface, okay, and uh, example 20. Uh, we're going to use this domain dynamic so hit OK to see what's happening use a vector you can use 25 distance let's see what's happening oh here's the result right now let's make our uh, Hide this lead, and uh, in the meantime, show the components, right? Okay, and also transluence. Here's the results. Control seven. So what you can do here, we can play the simulation. You can see, right? Okay. Very quick. Very quick in the in this. Uh, entrance and become slower right let's save this result we can hide this what we can do here insert another one uh, what we can do here we can actually uh, clone right we can clone this one okay so and then we can add it okay so We can change some parameters here, right? This is the velocity. <laughs> what we can do here, we can use the pressure. Hit OK. So you can give the name. Okay. Say pressure. Pressure. And then play it. Okay, so you can see here, velocity is high, but the pressure is high on the sand. Right. So this is a simulation. We have done.
for this uh, component. This is the end of the tutorial. If you like, you can also create some other, uh, for example, surface plot, ISO surface plot, and so on. And even create an XY plot uh, on your own. You can practice this by yourself.